Super Cilantro Girl. Story by Juan Felipe Herrera and illustrations by Honorio Robledo Tapia. Super Cilantro Girl. And this is the title page. This is the author's page. Yellow is going to be English and green is going to be Spanish. So everybody gets to read this book. Time for bed, Esmeralda Sinfronteras, grandmother calls out. Coming, Abuelita. But before stepping through the door, Esmeralda picks a bunch of sweet cilantro from her mother's garden. Abuelita, here's a bouquet to give Mama when she gets home from her visit to Mexico tonight. Oh, Esme, I have something to tell you, Abuelita says. Your Mama just called. She's been stopped at the border in Tijuana. They say she needs a green card. Green card? Green? Like cilantro? Esmeralda asks. She's a citizen, Esme. Everything will be okay, Abuelita says. Esmeralda looks closely at her grandmother. Abuelita doesn't look too worried, so Esmeralda takes the bouquet into her little room with the curtain door. At bedtime, Esmeralda holds the green, green cilantro leaves, shaped like hearts with wings, and presses them gently between her hands. She makes a wish. I hope Mama come home, comes home soon, bright and full of life, just like you, little cilantro leaves. In the morning, a bird with a crooked beak taps on Esmeralda's window. Pack, peck, peek, pock, pock. Esmeralda wakes up, jumps up as if it's in a dream. Mama, are you home? She calls and runs through the rooms of the house. Abuelita is busy in the kitchen. Why don't you help me, Esme? She asks. Esmeralda starts to put on an apron, but when she looks down at her hands, Oi! she cries, my fingernails, my hands, they're green! She runs over to the sink, but the more she rubs and scrubs, the greener her hands become. That day at school, Esmeralda borrows a pair of gardening gloves from Mr. Parches, the janitor. She speeds into the girls' bathroom and puts on the gloves. This way, no one will see my green, green hands, she thinks. Esmeralda sings into the mirror. I hope Mama is on her way. I hope she comes home soon. I hope Mama can clean this ugly green away. And that was my cat. This makes her smile. But I, she screams, my teeth are green too. Esmeralda comes home to her abuelita. You haven't said a word, Esme. You know, when you come home singing, my heart grows little feathers, Grandma says. I know, Abuelita, Esmeralda mumbles and fiddles with her fingers. Esme, why are you wearing those smelly old gloves, Abuelita asks. They keep me warm, Esmeralda answers, not smiling much at all. Abuelita gives her a very strange look. Esmeralda decides to look at herself in the mirror. Just maybe she's okay. I, she cries. It can't be. My eyes, they're the same color as my teeth. Green! Back at school, Esmeralda wears dark glasses and bows her head. Oops. It's okay to make mistakes sometimes. It happens. Let's start that over. Back at school, Esmeralda wears dark glasses and bows her head in class. Esmeralda, can you come to my desk immediately? Tell me, why are you wearing sunglasses in here? Mrs. Contrario asks. Esmeralda is silent. Here's Esmeralda. Flip, flap, flop, floop. Esmeralda's bird, the one with the crooked beak, flaps its wing as it flies by the classroom window. And your hair, it's, it's fuzzy and, and tangled with vines. Mrs. Contrario stutters. You'd better see Nurse Dito and get it fixed up. Sit on this little chair, Esmeralda. 
My name is Esmeralda, Esmeralda replies. Alta means tall. Oh, Esmeralda. Excuse me, nurse, says Nurse Dito, waving a pair of scissors in the air. Let's see, where shall we start? Znip, znap, znoop. The scissors clip the green, green leaves curling around Esmeralda's ears. You shouldn't be playing in the vineyards, Nurse Dito scolds. Snip, snap, snoop. Well, uh, well, uh, just as Esmeralda is about to explain. Zweep, zweep. The green, green vines spin in a cocoon around the nurse, race up the walls, pop open the windows, and bounce Esmeralda right up onto the sidewalk. This dog's like, what's going on? Loki is also wondering what is going on. Esmeralda runs all the way home, wearing her backpack like a hat to hide all that green. She takes huge, long strides and reaches her house in a flash. She peeps in the window, her grandma is scratching bird wing designs on a clay vase. Esmeralda opens the door and key rash, kaboom! She bumps her head on the roof. What's happening? I'm too tall. I can't even get into my own house. I am Esmeralda. Mama, where are you? Esmeralda feels a tender breeze from the south brush her cheek. She turns towards Mexico. I know what to do, she sings. I'm going to bring Mama back home myself. Esmeralda drapes one of Abuelita's starry shawls over her shoulders as a cape. She fastens it with a huge safety pin. Then she makes a construction paper mask and puts on her best green tights and her favorite gold high top sneakers. Finally, she picks a fresh bouquet of cilantro from her mother's garden and whispers to the green, green leaves. Green like my mother's salsa verde, green like the earth in spring. Take me across the mountain to my mama so I can hear her songs again. The bouquet sparkles in her hands. Esmeralda flies through the clouds to the border with her bird, its crooked beak leading the way. By evening, Esmeralda arrives at the border near Tijuana. She gawks at the great gray walls of wire and steel between the United States and Mexico. She stares at the great gray building that keeps people in who want to move on. Esmeralda has grown many feet taller. Her hair is longer than a school bus. Her eyes shine like emeralds on fire. She leaps over the wire mesh border wall, scales the patrol tower, and cranes her long neck. She can see her mama through one of the teeny, dirty windows of the great gray building. Mama, mama, everything is okay, she calls. I'll pull you up. Hold on to my hair. Esmeralda? Mama asks, but when she sees a giant green girl, she demands, wait, who are you? Oh, uh, I am Super Cilantro Girl. I am taking you back home to your daughter. The green, the giant green girl answers. Vamanos, she says. Vamanos, Mama agrees. Super cilantro girl tucks Mama into her shirt pocket and flies over the border wall. Helicopters and patrol sirens beam in, beam in on them. Super cilantro girl, what are we going to do? Mama asks. We'll make everything so green green, the border will disappear, the 50-foot tall girl says. Make it sin fronteras? Mama asked. Yes, just like our name. Oops, I mean your name, the green girl replies. Super cilantro girl touches a brown brown tree. The tree grows and sprouts leaves, fruit, flowers, vines cover buildings. Cilantro starts growing everywhere. The officers stop the chase. They stumble out of the helicopters and patrol cars in all directions, just to smell the green aromas. Lovely, they say. Que bonito, they say. They are even learning to speak Spanish. 
but Super Cilantro Girl pays no attention to them. She carries her mother all the way home. Here's all the pretty flowers and the vines and the fruit and the leaves. After the long, long trip home, Esmeralda tells her mother who she really is, a very tired, very large green girl with a bird on her shoulder. I was worried about you, Ma. And before she could finish her sentence, she was fast asleep. Zzzz. Wake up, Esme. You've been walking and talking in your sleep all night. Abuelita shakes Esmeralda. Esmeralda stood shoots her hands up in the air. Look, she says, they're not green. I know, I know, Abuelita says gently. And my feet, I can fit in my bed. Of course, cor Corazoncito. Well, almost, you have been growing, you know. Abuelita continues. And Esme, I have a surprise for you in the living room. What do you guys think her surprise is? Esmeralda finds her mother in the living room, holding a bunch of calla lilies in her arms. Mama, I missed you, Esmeralda says, and hugs her and hugs her and hugs her. These are for you, Amarcito, her mama whispers. For me? Esme takes the flowers and puts them in one of Abuelita's clay vases. Green feathers drift from the cups of the lilies, light and slow. And outside the window, a bird with a crooked beak pecks at the glass, then flies high over the green, green cilantro pass, free and sin fronteras. The end. And then this is a little bit about the author and a little bit about the illustrator, the person who drew all of the pictures in the book. I hope you guys enjoyed this story of Super Cilantro Girl. Make sure to check the link if you want to see pictures of all of the pages so you can follow along or read it by yourself. Have a good day.